How did the Toronto real estate market perform in April of 2024? I'm Brian Katamach, team lead at Katamach Real Estate Team with Remax Hallmark. And here are the stats for 2024, April 2024. As always, we look at the total active listing in the market, which is representing the supply side of the market, and the sales, which is the demand side of the market. At the end of the month of April, just over 7,500 uh, properties were for sale, uh, and only 2,574 sold. Now, if we compare these numbers to April of last year, just over 4,000 homes were for sale. So it's telling us there's 86% more homes for sale. That means more supply. But what happened to the sales? The sales was almost unchanged, only 2% up. So you're almost doubling the supply, but the sales will stay the same. That means buyers have more options. That means it becomes a little bit of a buyer market. And if you compare that to March of this year, you see that the inventory went up by 22% from 6,100 to 75. The supply side is tipping last month to this month and last year to this year. And also the sales side only gone up from last month to this one by 11%. Now, there's some portion of seasonality into these numbers, but if we take that out, this is not seasonal because this was the same season last year, 86% more inventory, but sales has not gone up. So there are a lot of speculation for this, but one of the things that you can think of is this. Federal government has changed the rules for capital gain. That will be effective in June 25th, and that means that you have to pay a little bit more on capital gain. If you had an investment property and you sell it, it will be subjected to a little bit more. Does that mean a lot of people who are investors are coming to market to sell and close before June 25th? You bet it is. I look at the total number of homes that are for sale and is occupied by tenants and compare it to last year, and I was walking about 40% more there. So there are a lot more investors that are coming to market to try to cash out before the taxes go up, which is probably, I don't understand why, because real estate is usually a long term. But remember, interest rates are still high and government hasn't lowered the interest rates yet. And people are must be under stress. So they want to save a few thousand dollars on that side. And Other factor is that I'm looking to different aspects of this. Right now, if you want to look at the real estate market, you're looking at homes below million dollars, townhomes and condos in the affordable side of the market, six, seven, eight hundred thousand. And uh, anything below million is pretty much competitive, more competitive because rent has gone up a lot too. If anybody has the down payment and buy, they can they get, we get very close to that, or at least they save money and not paying the rent. So below million, it's a little bit crowded market. And that's also where you can buy with 10%. If you're, it's your first property you're buying, you can buy it with 10%, 15%, even 5% if you're really qualified. So that portion of the market, buyers are gaining confidence and they're coming back to market. Now, there's another portion that's completely unchanged with all of this. It's about $5 million. People buying things over $5 million, they're not affected by interest rates and so on. Yes, they are, but not as much as others because they probably don't borrow or their income is a lot higher. So it's portion between 2 million and 5 million. It's under pressure. Uh, I see those homes are not moving as easily as it used to be. And um, they're still struggling. That's the buffer between being completely insensitive to the interest rates and being sensitive. And uh, you know, not many people qualify for it. It's hard to purchase. Now, there's another sector that is really funny when you look into it. This one between one to two million dollars. It's crowded. However, buyers are very, very selective. Not every home gets multiple offer. Not every home gets sold really fast and quick. No, there's a lot of inventory as we saw staying in the market. So it's not like it's, it's just selling too fast. But I noticed that if the home is in a good location, priced well, and it's in good condition, the price is very important because if they're overpricing it, nobody wants it. But I see that if they price it right and they are out there to sell at the market value, whatever you know, buyers will pay for it, it does sell really well. So we're talking about the three different markets and then one market that's within that three markets is a little bit different. So what are we expecting? I think until June 25th or so, somewhere around the month, about a month, month and a half, 
And these numbers are going to stay there because some of these investors are rushing to the market to cash out and save some money. But the real market will come after that. And the other thing is that Bank of Canada has held the interest rates steady for six months. Markets is gaining confidence that the likelihood of interest rates going up, it's very, 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 very low. And it's never impossible. Uh, so from now on, they're talking about when cut the rates, not if, if or not. And, and what numbers the Bank of Canada need to see to do that. But it looks like sometimes from now until end of the year, there will be a cut, uh, according to some people a little bit higher in, in, in fall than summer, but that's coming in. If you're thinking of buying or selling, you can always consult with us. We'll tell you when will be the good, good time for your situation, because every bond situation is totally different. If somebody's moving out for a job transfer is different. If somebody's retiring and uh, they don't have anything to go to is different. But if you bought a pre-construction and is getting it in three months and you need to move into that, you need to sell this and pay for that, every, every situation is different. There is no one size fit all. In real estate, we tailor make every situation for themselves. And that's what we are famous for. If you have any question about any of this, 647-848-2652 is our number. You can always consult with us about anything. And if you like what we put out here, please subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification. So we will let you know when the new video is coming up. And if you're watching this on Facebook or Insta, you can follow us. And so we will let you know when the new stuff coming. Until next month, have a fantastic day and care.